Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook, get yours today on Amazon, Kindle, or order it at your local bookstore. Order your autographed copy from blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club president you can be. Get the book. Hey, you guys. How is everyone doing? Good to see you all. I'm Black Dragon. And once again, I'd like to thank you to for joining Black Dragon Biker TV, the roundtable Sunday nights. And uh, we do this uh, every Sunday night at 8 o'clock. We talk about motorcycle club culture, MC politics, all this kind of stuff, MC news, just uh, things that happen in motorcycle clubs. So if you like this kind of, uh, of uh, 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 thing, if you like this kind of um, information, make sure to give us a like and a subscribe. A follow. We're on Instagram, YouTube, IGTV. Our podcast is the Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos, which is podcasting simultaneously. Uh, so you guys have a whole bunch of ways. Every place you get your podcast, you can get us. So I'd like to introduce my guest for tonight. Uh, we have Hollywood from Insane Throttle uh, uh, Biker News. Uh, Hollywood's got an incredible new Roku channel coming up, so we got to talk about that tonight. We got Wild on Twos, a moto vlogger. We got Dibber in the Wind, the grandfather of us all, the godfather of us all, who started all this out in the UK <laughs> <laughs> years and years and years ago. We got Big Cell from <laughs> Fast Harley's Only Atlanta GA and FHO Towing. Big Cell is uh, uh, so how this works is really cool. Big Cell is the one responsible for even getting me on uh, uh, YouTube in the first place. He gave me all the knowledge and everything I needed to get on. Dibber took over and uh, and trained me up to keep me from getting kicked off YouTube and slapped in the head. Hollywood come <laughs> through and uh, gets me right with uh, all of my equipment and stuff like that. So all of these guys uh, helped to birth me, and then I helped uh, Wild On 2. And we also have Pot from Ice Code Riders up there. In the ice cold freaking Dakotas, where it's probably ice cold right now. So, welcome everyone to the show. Hey, buddy. All right, all right. That, that was a long. Yeah. I, wow. Thank you. I want a real audience one day that really does that. <laughs> <laughs> that would we, will, be, we will make that happen. That would be really cool. Uh, listen, uh, we do this Sunday nights, as I say. As you guys know, Uncle Shaggy uh, has taken a break for a little while, but it is so cool to know that Uncle Shaggy is in the comments below. Uh, and uh, we uh, don't have uh, um, uh, uh, another one of our, our brothers on tonight. Um, uh, uh, Big Bone. Our, <laughs> Big Bone is not on tonight, but I'm sure Big Bone is watching. Uh, so... Uh, Make sure to uh, uh, send those guys uh, your best regards, and we're going to move forward. Uh, so I tell you something that's really cool. Uh, before I touch on the night's subject, I want to talk for a minute about Big Cell, your last uh, video that you did a couple days ago. Uh, 
called something like uh, Gangsters Bike Counts. What was it called? Gangsters Bike Counts and, and, and uh, I really just called it gang bang, um, gang banging on the set. Um, kind of that was kind of like my title, gang banging on the set, gang banging and bike count. And uh, you uh, really went went hard in on uh, a lot of things that are happening, especially on the black biker set here in the uh, Georgia area. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I listened to that a couple times and I thought that was like, um, uh, one of your best works. So maybe you would like to, uh, to, to talk to us about it a little bit. Well, I don't, I don't, number one, I don't, I don't do things to go in on people. Um, that's not my, my number one thing. I, I simply do whatever I do to speak the truth about what's going on on the bike set. Um, and the, the biggest problem I had with the bike set, well, with this particular, what made me kind of get into this topic was we just had the incident in Florida um, between the two clubs. And then we had the, here in Georgia, they recently did a bike count. And I just thought both of the things were the silliest shit in the world. Uh, I'm sorry, Bragg, this your show. We can't curse. I'm sorry. But I thought that was the silliest stuff in the world um, to be doing when motorcycling is supposed to be about love, love, life, liberty, freedom, the whole nine yards. But here it is now in, in these states that they're coming up with bike count. And my question, my question simply was, what does bike count benefit? Well, how does it help the culture? How does it help the bike set? You know, how do you control the bike set with a bike count? Because I know clubs with 75 members and only five rides. You, you feel what I'm saying? So... So, so if you don't know what a bike count is, uh, please explain uh, this bike count as it is, as it really came about 2009 is when it hit uh, Georgia. So maybe you could explain for a moment what the bike count is. From what I understand, a bike count is a way to guarantee or to, to make sure that the MCs in your area are actually, that they actually have motorcycles. So from what I understand, I guess once a year, however they do it, I don't know. I don't participate in it. Um, they call all of the clubs to a particular clubhouse or a particular area or whatever, and they make them show their motorcycles. So each of the club have to get on their bikes and, you know, pull up, you know, with their members and show that their members have motorcycles. Um, and again, to me, um, you know, the, I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly you know, if you can bring it on a trailer or if it got to be functioning or whatever, <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's all kind of stuff going on, but my, but the, the biggest thing to me is, is that what does it matter if, if the MC doesn't have motorcycles, you should be more concerned with teaching with the teaching part of it, the, the history, the let, you know, the whole nine yards. Plus you should be more concerned about, because most of the clubs that show up only show up for bike count. This is the only time they even ride a motorcycle is for bike count. And, and that's it's so solely just to keep a patch. You feel what I'm saying? But, hey, and again, it, it was more to it's a lot more to it than that. And then, you know, with me putting on this big thing in Tampa, I got a big event coming up in Tampa that I'm that I'm a part of that I'm heavily invested in. Um, it's the, the situation that happened there with my with my one percenters. I was simply just asking them. Hey, we need y'all. We need y'all to to just really figure this thing out because you guys claim that we're the problem. The 99 percent side of the motorcycling is the problem. When really, you're the reason why we can't wear our vests here. You're the reason why we can't go into cer certain places with our cuts on. You're the reason why the police pull us over. I've been pulled over. I ride a lot. If you guys don't know me, I ride a lot. Um, I've been in the middle of nowhere and I've gotten pulled over by the police just to verify who I am and confirm what I'm doing in the whole nine yards. And that comes from, you know, some of the stuff that the higher ups did. Um, the other part of it is doing my research and understanding how this thing works. You know, my, my biggest thing is who cares how many clubs on the set, those, those that are the strong will survive. We all know it's a fad. We know that a lot of people take this stuff as a fad. A lot of people take it as a hobby. And, and, and it, it just is what it is. But a lot of it has to do with us as a culture um, because we accept it. But, again, you got to watch the show, man. It was – any time I do a show, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving my all. And it ends up being one of the greatest shows. I've gotten so many calls from a lot of the OGs, 
Um, I've gotten a lot of calls from a lot of the one percenters. I've gotten some negative calls too. I've gotten the threats and all that other stuff as well. But I, I mean, I get them on the daily, so that ain't that's that's nothing. But um, to me, it was it was it was just an awesome show. Well, you know, I, what it stems from is the the law that came into being. If you wanted to be a motorcycle club, sometime around two thousand, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, in the uh, Atlanta, Georgia area, that came was the 80-20 law is what it was called. And basically, in order to be a uh, recognized motorcycle club on the set, uh, 80% of your members had to show up to a bike count riding motorcycles. So that was the 80-20 law. And uh, mm-hmm. it was used to uh, to weed out would-be um, uh, so-called not good motorcycles or people that weren't riding. It was a way to – at that time, there were actually about 366 motorcycle clubs in – the Atlanta, Georgia kind of. So they uh, say. So they area. say. So they say. <laughs> so uh, it, it was uh, a way to weed those clubs out. And, and the thing about it was, uh, for me, when, when, when we first saw it, it was kind of crazy because you had to show up. And uh, some guys had multiple motorcycles, so they would uh, put their club members <laughs> on, 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 on their bikes and bring them. So when they figured that out, the next thing was, well, you have to show up with your motorcycle, your driver's, uh, your license plate and all of that. And my thing was, um, you know, what, who, who am I going to give my license plate number to? Uh, what, what is, how are you guys keeping this secure? I mean, you got my license plate number. You can show up on my doorstep. I mean, uh, uh, so I always had problems with it. So uh, I wasn't the only one that had that problem. So the next thing was, uh, well, you don't have to have your license plate, but we're going to write down uh, your name and all. And it just I, I couldn't see a secure way for it to happen. And then, you know, one of the things that you brought out, uh, well, who's counting the counters? Uh, that who's, who's who's making sure that the folks that are counting uh, meet meet the 8020 law and and uh, all this, that and the other. So it disappeared for a while. Uh, at least I thought it did. And so I was quite surprised when I heard it on your show. Oh, uh, they've they've gone back to this uh, nonsense, but uh, uh, the show I thought was um, uh, very ballsy. Um, it, it right down the line of things that you do. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, FHO ATLGA FHO for Fast Hearts Only, Space ATL for Atlanta, Space GA for Georgia. Check out uh, Big Cell on FHOATLGA, and um, I think you guys will. Uh, that that last show uh, was, to me, was really great show, and uh, it put a lot of light on things. You you said some stuff to me that you said some stuff that really rang with me with uh, black folks, black human beings, um, regulating black human beings. It, it it draws back to a lot of um, ideas of uh, social social culture and construct the united states of america uh we you know we have a long history with this kind of thing so it's really just amazing that we continue to do this sort of thing to ourselves um so you know so i thought that was um a really deep deep dive i'm sure you got some threats and all that from that because um i did one of those similar in 2020 so i kind of know what you went through on that but hey man yeah i mean like i said i didn't i didn't when i you know, when I start a show, I just basically have a, a, a basic concept, but then I just let, you know, I just let the truth take over the rest. So the whole show is truth. There's <laughs> questions in there that need to be answered. Um, and there's, um, you know, the people that need to answer them or whatever, or just simply start the conversation to figure out where are we going with this thing? Because if we keep on going the way we're going now, then the motorcycle club, the MC set, the community, the culture, as we know it, is going to be disappeared because they, you bring in all the feds. You bring in all of the police to, to 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 police and to you know all the extra unwanted attention, man. And for me, it's just it's just a bit much. But hey, um, if it was a good show, it was a good show. Everything I do oh. is from the, is from the heart. It's from it's it's a truth. It is the truth. So again, thank you, um, Dragon, for for even watching the show and acknowledging it. And again, let me say this before I go. To insane throttle, my man Hollywood. I love you, brother. Dibber in the wind. I love you guys too. Sean Pack. I just got on to you guys. Wild on twos. I just got on to you. So there is definitely some heavy hitters on here tonight, man. And I'm just honored to even be considered to be a part of this. And um, and again, just give my two cents on whatever it is that we're talking about tonight. So again, thank you for the invite, my man. So uh, moving in. 
to tonight's show. Um, I sat back for three years, I guess, and kind of watched this uh, unfold and, you know, have been a target of uh, this show's rhetoric uh, ever since the beginning. Um, and I guess it's just come to a point now that I've decided to speak out on it. Um, and it's not, a, you know, I those of you who've been watching me a long time, got to see the infamous two and a half, three year war between me and the great Chuck Giants. <laughs> <laughs> that took so much energy. I said I, I will never. Chuck A. Do that again. <laughs> they should. You should have. You should have. You should have gone real sort of like culture vulture and got yourself. You know, like Chucky from the old movie. You should have got yourself a Chucky doll made. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and, uh, Chuck was Chuck was a, a special character that latched on to me, latched on to my show, and spent built built a whole YouTube following attacking Black Dragon. And uh, <laughs> he'd always get like the best of me because uh, it would it would be like uh, in the football game or whatever. Somebody pushes you and you turn around and clock them and the referee sees you. So uh, I always told myself, well, I'm not going to do this again. This this saps so much energy from from my from my blood. Hellfighter Steve says Chuck E. Cheese was entertaining. I, I'm the guy who named him Chuck E. Cheese. It, it was just it was horrible. Uh, and and during the middle of the Chuck E. Cheese crisis, uh, the Demon's Row brand was born. And uh, I just sat back and watched it happen. <laughs> and, and and one of the things that uh, he decided to do was, well, Black Dragon's got the biggest show. Let me attack him, and uh, I'll be the biggest show. And it worked well for him. I mean, I don't uh, begrudge the. Uh, the, uh, the the numbers or the, uh, the 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 hard work the success I mean I wish that upon every single person that has a show and has the 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 balls to do this to put your ideas up um, uh, uh, me. of uh, you know out there in the world spectrum uh, but I I always had a problem with the the Joe's and the Chuck E. Cheese's of the world that felt like it was it was necessary to step on the heads of everyone coming around and just level baseless accusations uh, and uh, you know for views uh, that stuff gets views uh, it gets um, uh, it gets people riled up uh, it gets people pissed off uh, and it, it absolutely works I mean if it le if it bleeds it leads Hollywood often says but um, to me, um, when I watch your get down and I watch the rhetoric out of your mouth and the two aren't the same, well, that's when I'll speak out. That's when I'll say, you know, you're not living by the same thing you get on here and preach. And somebody said, you know, I hope you have something viable to say about the dude, because the truth of the matter is uh, all of his numbers, his numbers equal all of you guys combined. Uh, I don't think anybody here on these shows was ever doing this for that. Um, is, is no, our bread and butter wasn't YouTube like it was mentioned. You know, we do this because we like it. And as far as numbers, the one thing that everybody has to understand is, yeah, it's cool to have subscribers and stuff, but a lot of us are on the street and that's what matters. A lot of these numbers, half of them don't even have motorcycles. So, uh, you know, you can you can get a whole bunch of people to view you and make a whole bunch of numbers. But my reason for doing this uh, initially started out was to stop the bleeding in my own motorcycle club where I would see members leaving uh, good folks going to other clubs. And I, I was thinking, well, maybe we're missing something in in educating our prospects and things like that. So. When I first started doing this, I was speaking really to my own club. Uh, I had no idea uh, that this worldwide motorcycle club world thing existed. When I first saw uh, uh, Dibber on the show, uh, I was like, they do this in the UK too? And uh, next thing I know, Dibber's over in, uh, in, in, in uh, the, the uh, uh, Holy Lands. And I'm getting calls from Australia and 
calls from 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 the UK and the Netherlands and calls from Africa all over the world. And I come to find out that people are motorcycling as bikers and motorcycle clubs all over the world. And almost all of them, uh, we, we almost all ride in a in a kind of a tribal kind of fashion in terms of protocols and cultures and tradition and respect. We all kind of ride pretty close to the same way. You know, you could pick yourself up out of here and go to the uh, to the UK and and get along there. Uh, you could probably figure out pretty quickly what the protocols uh, were and get along there. <laughs> um, You'll find out what they are pretty quick if you turn up here wearing colors and you haven't gone through the right the right means and the right ways to do it. I can tell you that. So we we figure like heck, <laughs> We're, you know, we're trying to help the community and, and all of a sudden you get, you get attacked and every one of our shows has been attacked, uh, by one show. And I am just like, what the hell, what's going on with this? So I wanted to talk about culture vultures, this, this idea that, uh, first of all, these are all the things I've heard from the show. One, that all of us are in it to make money. And live and survive <laughs> off the culture. That's and right. Yeah. Two, all of us are we're fake. We don't know any real bikers. We don't know any real one percenters. And we shouldn't be listened to, only listen to that show because we're old men, we're out of touch, we don't know what's going on. And and that's uh, not what them NCOMs awards behind uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and any any one of you guys that's on my friends list over on Facebook knows who the fuck I know and know who I'm associated with. End of story. I don't need to come on YouTube and answer to someone like that. I know who I am. The real deal out there know who I am and they know who I roll with and who I've rolled with. End of story. My man. End of story. So, and you also, so drag have, it. Uh, we, we got our own, we, you see, also with us over here, you see, this is where terminology, so I'm going to be saying some things in here tonight that won't go down well, I can tell you that now for nothing, because us over here, we got a different idea of what a culture vulture is from what I'm gathering to what how a culture vulture is perceived in America. Over here, a culture vulture is anyone, anyone that feeds off of the club scene, off of their club name, yeah, or their association. That's a culture vulture as far as we're concerned over here. And old matey with his, I'm the fucking Holy Grail, is the biggest culture vulture of the lot. I End of story. End of story. That's all I've got to say on that. Well, I just find it interesting. Um, one of the things that I find most interesting is the idea of creating this huge icon built off of the backs of the brothers of his club uh, forever and ever and ever. I'm one percenter such and such of the Thug Riders Motorcycle Club over and over and over and over again. Uh, then the second those guys run into a major issue, out comes a video uh, hey, I've not been with those guys forever. Uh, I was a member forever, but I haven't been with them for a long time. And uh, I just thought, damn, uh, this would be the time that 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 they would need the power of, of, of that platform where they're facing all of these problems. This would be the time they would need the power of that platform, uh, that platform that built you up as great and high as you are. Uh, the straight up disassociation. I, I didn't like that. I thought that was, I don't know, personally speaking, I thought it was BS. Uh, well, especially after you make your whole thing uh, uh, on that club's back. Mm. That's a culture vulture, man. If you look, look, as I say, we, we, we see this whole culture vulture thing totally different. Me and you, we've had these conversations, John. We've had these conversations in face to face on camera behind the scenes, right? You know how I feel about it all. But to us, if you are displaying your club's name, yeah, in a picture on your YouTube channel, that's culture vulture to us. Yeah. If you are selling merch 
anything, books, anything, and your club's name's on it. To us, that's culture vulture. It comes in different extremes, the stuff that we'll let slide. But what I'm seeing with this other stuff, and then calling other people culture vultures, when you've got his missus there, every other message, go and donate to us. Do you know what we call that over here, where I come from, where you keep on going donate, going donate? Do you know what we call that? We call that e-begging. E-begging. I love that. I never heard that. <laughs> e we, we, call, we, we call that e-begging where I come from, where you constantly, you got it. You got him. He's, go and buy me merch. Go and buy this. Go and buy that. Go to me website. Buy this. Buy that. Then you got his missus who's typing, typing. Go and donate money to this. Go and donate. Man! And then he talks about people being bloody culture vultures. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> Sorry, John. That just pisses me off. <laughs> Hey, how you really you feel? Know what? You know what? I really, uh, with all due respect to dude, I don't know him, so I really can't speak on him, right? Go, go and check I, it I, out, man. I, I, go and check I, it out. I, I looked at it for a second, but I was doing something, so I have to get on to what I have to do. But I figure like this: as a motorcycle club, what do you stand for, right? Everybody has something that they stand for. As an individual, what do you stand for? Now, and if you're profiting. If you're profiting about if this, I don't even know how this works. I don't get no money for this. He asked me to get on, talk about my little gear in my club, and I'm here. So yeah, good on you. Money. This is no no money involved. This is just hey, I, I want to learn. When I get on here, I learn more. My club watches it, so we all mm -hmm. learn, and people get to learn about us, right? So what I don't understand is, like you say, if you're not in the club, but everything is money, 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 money. What are you putting up? What do you stand for? Is that money stand for your pocket or does it stand for something that that means something to you? You know what I mean? Besides what you're building, your wealth, your financial wealth. When we get on here and we talk about Rider Republic, everything that we sell, we put it back and we do events and we give kids stuff. Yeah, right. And it's, and it's factual. So I'm not trying to get you to buy my merch. It's not my merch. It's our merch, and which goes back into the community. No, no, I think you're missing the point. Go, go across and watch him, and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I feel you, but I'm just trying to figure out if he's if it's all merch, merch, merch. It's, it's all merch, 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 mate. It's all merch, 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 merch. Every other minute, it's merch. And if it isn't talking about buying his merch, it's get across, you know. And drop money here and drop money there. That's all it's about from start to finish. Start of the video, end of the video, merch, merch, merch. Been mentioned 50, 60 times in the space of two and a half minutes. But 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 you listen, let me say let me say this. Let me say this real quick. Is it really his fault though? I mean, we, we gotta understand the people that are watching this that are loving it because he has yeah. the subscriptions and he has oh, yeah. the numbers. You know, oh, so yeah. we could we could we could criticize and we could say all day that uh you know it's this or it's that but again for example and i'm gonna just say this for me how can you watch my show and call me up and say man big sale you you know that shit was real what you said real what you said and then tell me in the same breath yeah because i watched demon row as well and i excuse me if i wasn't supposed to say the name but we're two different entities yeah. you know you, you know so how can you say you you watch me and you and you mess with me but you watch and mess with him as well that's 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 water and oil that don't mix. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not sub to him. I'm not yeah, sub so, to him. Me neither. I, I'm not either. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I don't think the problem is him. I think the problem is the culture or the community on the whole who may be starving for anything. Now, I'm going to tell you this. His graphics, his, over, his whole get out, his whole team that work with him, they put on a, a damn good video. And if you're if you're if if you're like eighty percent of the people on the bike set, and I made it to go to eighty five, if you're on this bike set simply because you you want to be a part of something that's popular, you're not in this shit for the real reason. Then you're gonna gravitate to that because it's it's, it's cool looking shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So so yeah. that's the difference. That's the difference between somebody, you know, watching watching Dibber or watching Hollywood or watching any one of your other guys because. When they, the people that follow us and watch us, they come to learn. They come to, to, to understand motorcycling and to be connected. The people that watch him, they just watch the shit uh, because of the glam and the slam. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, 
can I ask a Go question, ahead. Phil? And and are you guys on here? Have you guys ever reached out to this dude and said, "Hey, man"? He, he will not. He will not return. He will not return any call. Even when he went when he went after me, I reached out on every. I went through. I went through wheels. I went through everybody that I can go through to tell the dude, "Hey, just call me because I want to let him know." It, don't play with my name. Don't play with my channel. Don't play with my name. Don't do any of that. He never would return calls, never would reach back. None of that. I, I promise you. I, I tried my best to person. And I was actually going to ride up to his way, but I'm not sure if he's in Connecticut, if he's, they don't know, you know. So when I, <laughs> when I reached out to his club, oh, we really, we really don't mess with him like that. So it, it, it was just an issue. So I just, me personally, prayed about it, set it to the side, and, I'm, and, and it, was, it was that for me. So. But he did. He came after me one time, you know, you know, and he he loves to take you guys' videos and reduplicate them. That's another thing that he does. He he doesn't have any original material, so all his material is well, whatever that, you've done, whatever. What yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Big so you nailed that on. I think the problem is that he took your stuff, BD stuff. I even seen Wild on Two stuff that he did a year before. He's rebranding everybody else's content. And I think what gets to me the most is this holy grail. I've been around 28 years and I still don't know nothing. Uh, and I'm one of those guys and BD knows. I don't believe in a lot of protocol channels. And the reason why is because I think it's really hurting these people that are watching on the internet. Because if you don't got the balls to go up to an MC, you shouldn't be around one. And when you use your club to try to advance who you are, and you only been around four years, you couldn't make it five because they kicked you to curve. You know, let's just be honest, but you didn't do that video, did you? Uh, I get it. Biker news really pisses people off, but I deal in reality. I don't deal in tinfoil hats. There's bad stuff that happens in the club scene. At least I give the opportunity for clubs to reach out and give their side of the story. So this deal, when he tried to go after my former club, I was like, well, wait a second here. Let's talk history. You want to talk history? Let's talk history. Your club was started by a bunch of cops, a CO's. A CO was in charge of your organization for up to 10 years. And I don't care how, you know, they go, well, we got blessed by, for our diamonds. You know what? In my air, you don't get blessed by any other diamonds. You're either a diamond or you're not. So that's where our thinking breaks. Because I only feel like there are, you know, maybe 10, 11 clubs that are actual true 1%. That's just the air I come from. But when you start stealing other people's material and calling it your own, and trying to be a holy grail. And he don't even understand how much he's dissing the club scene by saying, let's have church on Sunday, you got to pay your dues. That's the stupidity that people fall for. And BD put a meme out yesterday with Sons Anarchy. This is real stuff on the street. This is not fake, this ain't a TV show. People serve life sentences defending their club people go to grave for their club and you're making a total mockery of it now i would uh, encourage him to come on and debate with me if you want if he knows what you you know if he's the holy grail let's get into your some of your knowledge which is <laughs> none to, you know thin to none if you ask me but yeah, anyway I mean, that's I, my I, thoughts yeah i was gonna say something just i mean my thing, I talked to BD before and stuff. I don't knock his hustle. I said he does hell a hell of, uh -uh, make your money. A hell of a job of doing what he's doing. He made it a business. Did he use his club? He used his club in the beginning. I saw him kind of, but then he kind of tried to change the channels. Uh, but he does. It's a business for him. It's revenue stream for him, and you can see it in everything. You can feel it that he pushes the revenue stream. Same thing, uh, you know, he, he does things differently than I uh, myself. I would never name drop other clubs in my videos. I don't post other club colors in my videos unless I have a permission or so. Uh, even when my, my old club, I never even mentioned my club. People in the comment section asked. I said it and I felt weird putting my stuff on YouTube and I, I stopped doing it because that was not me. I didn't feel natural doing that because it, it was not about my myself, my club. 
it was about just MC in general, independent bikers and people to kind of learn a little bit. All content, we didn't re, we never made this crap up. Our content, like it's been around for a while, right? We we kind of just reinvent the wheel to a point. I get stuff from BD, I see and I go, oh shit, that's a great topic. And I'll put my point of view on there, but I'll throw BD as credit, like, hey, he did a video on this topic, or Shaggy did a video, Hollywood, uh, Dibber. And then I'll say what my thoughts about it, uh, but I won't call it like if I just knew that material just because I have so much history with MC culture or something, because uh, we all learn from each other. And that's what the viewers like to watch. But like I said, he does do a great thing. I'm not, I never knock anyone for trying for what you do, uh, but you got you to gotta name what you are too. You know, you just got to be true to yourself of uh, what you do. So, I mean, that's, it's just, like I said, I, I never knock anyone for trying hard to uh, better their future, but different ways of doing it, of course, is not, probably not the right way of doing it. Uh, and I think when the numbers start growing, he kind of just ran with it. But see, see, to me, the whole, the whole issue I have with it, I'm not saying that he doesn't have a, you know, he's built a, 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 a sellable product. My issue is it was built off the back of the club. You know, and that's that's where I take issue with it. You'll find that somebody here in in the comments said, if you had done that in the UK, you would have ended up in hospital. Damn right. If you, you if you do it off the back of the club, it's it's that strict over here. Yeah, we we don't piss around with this stuff over here. We don't name drop. You don't hear me name drop clubs, unless I'm I mean, actually but, stood but, there with that person and all that. I don't do that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah but uh, been, but again, but. but it's, but again, I, 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 it's building when you, it's you. I've got a bad issue with building something like that and building it off the back of one's club name, the club's reputation, and still continuing on even after he wasn't in the club as if he was in the club. Okay, That's, and, that, and again, you know. and, and again, I hear. I listen. Listen, what I'm telling you. I hear everybody's complaint. I, I really do. But if the club is not going to do anything about it, you know what I'm saying? If, yeah, if, if yeah. somebody if, if, then, then I mean, basically, my my thing of it is, and I understand what I try. I'm trying to, and I understand what Black Dragon came on here to say and to do was to say, hey, listen, um, you got real, you got real people out here giving you real passion, real motorcycling from their heart, and then you got people out here exploiting you for whatever it is. But my thing of it is, is anytime somebody questions me, I put it back on them. What do you, what do you believe is real, or what do you know about motorcycling? Because that's where it has to come from. He can't have the following without the followers. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? He, 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 if, if, if he's doing what he's doing to, to grab these so-called people that ride motorcycles, and they're gravitating to his channel, um, then a, again. It, is it really his fault, or is it is it again the community or the co or the motorcycle culture? So I hear what you're saying there as far as the he, him making money off the back of the club, but if the club lay down for him to walk on their back, then I mean, who are we? Well, I think uh, it helped the club in the beginning. Uh, I'm they sure they didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah it sure probably did. Many, many channel. I've been, I'm sure they got many many uh, uh, adherents, many, many prospects. It probably even built many chapters. Uh, uh, from from that work. Uh, in fact, um, uh, someone did ask me. So, uh, you know, what about the work he turned in? What about the 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 clubs that he built, or the chapters that he built, or the people that he brought in? Uh, didn't he put them on the map? And uh, I thought about that for a minute, and um, I realized that your club, you don't put your club on the map. Your club, you see, you're nobody without the club in this world when you walk in the world you don't walk in here um uh maybe dibber did but you don't walk in here i'm such and such one percenter unless you got the club behind you i'm black dragon national president i was national president of a club so i could say all day long that i built the club and i made the club famous but the fact of the matter is if it weren't for the club nobody would have taken me seriously to begin with so if you, if it, nobody would listen to Black Dragon, nobody would listen to John Bunch, but Black Dragon, national president, and that was the name of the club. Whoa, national president of what? People would listen to that because the club gives you that patch, 
It gives you the secret decoder ring and a pass to move. Oh, you got to be a national president of a club? So you don't get to turn around and say, I built this club. And uh, I have to check myself if I've ever said that. Because when I heard that person say that, I didn't build the name of the club. The club gave me a platform, and I should be damn glad to give back to the MC. Anything I can give to it and make it greater or make it more well-known or make it more well-respected, that is my obligation. It's not my obligation to build myself from the club. It's my obligation to continue to add to the greatness of the club, which it should be an honor to do so. So, um, so it seems like this. You can't get him on the phone. He won't respond. So this is what we got going on. It seems like to me, because I'm not in, I don't have a YouTube channel and I understand everybody's point. Everybody's point is 100% real. So to me, what do I know what each one of you guys bring to it? Because I've listened to you. And like I said, you guys have gave me some knowledge on stuff, right? And my club, because they're watching it right now. What can you do to capture the mind of those heart and people that are being led astray? What can we do? You know what I'm saying? As people that's not going out about it to make money, to enrich their self off a club, people that's not going about to spread things that are not true and are creative thinkers and not stealing somebody else's uh, work. What can you guys do on your platform platform to stop those people being led astray? Yeah. And the thing about uh, uh, can I answer that real quick? Yes, yeah, sir. You go ahead. It ain't my job, uh, Pac. Pac. It ain't my job. I'm in biker news. Uh, I don't like getting into how to do this, how to do that. And one of the reasons I got a video coming out tomorrow, where there was an article. Well, you want to be, you know, how to join the Hell's Angels. And that article has such a following on it. I sat back and said, you're kidding me, right? Hmm. People are actually running to this kind of stuff. And my viewpoint is it's not my job to tell you how to do, go to a club. And I know you guys got protocol channels. I know you guys talk about it. The job is to put out the news that I got. It's your job if you want to be in an MC so bad, get off your butt, get on the streets, go up, and be a man. Go shake a hand. You're not going to learn anything from us. You're not. Because some of the stuff you take from BD, you're going to get smacked over here in the Midwest. Some of the stuff you learn from Wild on 2, you're going to get smacked on the West Coast. And people don't understand that. And just seeing that article's numbers, I was like, people are dumb. What, you think you're going to take this article and walk up and say, hey, this article told me I'd be a hell's angel? <laughs> and you're not going to get a dot and I? <laughs> run your hustle. That, you know, run your hustle. That article has like a million hits on it. Like it, yeah. it, it, is, it is absolutely crazy. But it goes to show you that the love people have of the culture and the mysticism of it all. And so anyone uh, that is willing to be underhanded and, uh, uh, um, and, and predator like predatory uh, can, they're going to, they're going to, it doesn't matter. They got all these numbers. Yeah. They're going to pull in all those people and 98% of them people ain't never fixing to try to be in no motorcycle club at all, but no, it is no. absolutely great stuff to watch. It's just is like he a good kid. Yes, he's a good kid. The problem with, you know, Big Cell talked about it. It's like oil and water with us. He's into trying to make the scene look good, which is awesome. And I do stuff that pisses people off because I'm news. But I'm also more popular on the radio, where that's, you know, my forte is radio on the W. The podcast is what I did before I came to YouTube. So when you guys, when a guy comes at me, I have fun with it. I take it, I get in the shock jock mode. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going up a level and a level and level. That's something he's too ignorant to understand is I'm going to keep going at him until he just goes in the corner and starts playing with his peckers and shut up with me. 
you know, oompa loompa power, I say. But that's how <laughs> I look at things. Like I said, for me, for me, gentlemen, I think just this this show for all of our followers and for all of our the people that may run across us at least gives them a a point to start at to say, hey, what are you listening to this for? You feel what I'm saying? Wild on two, Sean Pack, Insane Throttle, Dibber in the Wind. But if you're here, if if you here to learn the culture or to find out as much as you can, because Dibber just said it, no matter what we say, you still got to be the man or the woman to go out there and to walk up and, 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 and to make it happen. So no matter what, we can't teach you how to MC. We give you pointers. We give you different, you know, things to, to know to give you at least some type of um, uh, head start or whatever, but you still it's still all on you to learn how to MC, to join the MC, the whole nine yards. But I think with this show tonight, at least we've spoken to our followers, to our people to say, hey, please understand the difference. Um, and again, I just tell people, you can't, you can't follow him and follow me because it's, it's just two different entities. You can't follow Dibber and follow him. It's just two different entities. I mean, it, it just is what it is. But like I said, to the people on a the whole, they don't care. 80, 85% of the people right now that are, in, that are wearing MC on their back can care less about rules, regulations, protocol, the right or the wrong way to motorcycle. They're having fun. And that's, that's a culture issue. That's a community issue. It's not, a, it's, it's not his issue. You feel what I'm saying? So for me, man, I'm just going to keep being me. I'm going to keep on doing what I do. I'm going to stand on my word. I'm going to be out there. I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. I ride my motorcycle. I travel state to state. I pull up. So I'm just going to keep on being me. And if my numbers ever grow or don't grow, then hey. And to those who say um, we do this for the money, no, we do it for the passion. I mean, it's for the passion and for the love. Now, if 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 I happen to be rewarded uh, uh, with a few dollars, then so be it. But I'm not here strictly. I don't come on every day. I don't have a set time. But, you know, that's just not what it is. I do podcasts. I do a show whenever I have something to talk about. If I don't have anything to talk about, like I haven't, like uh, even Dragon said, man, you had not done a show in like three weeks. Well, I've been busy doing other stuff. I didn't have any motorcycling shit to talk about. So, therefore, I've been, I've been doing... <laughs> You know, I've been doing all of that, but I've been watching you guys. I tap in, you know, and I, I catch the subject. Okay, cool. That's some good shit. And I, and I keep it pushing. But it's not, Dragon, I don't think, and I, and I know that's not what your intention was to say, hey, uh, let's rally to shut him down. That's not our, our goal. That's not my goal. My goal was simply just to, to come on here, man, and say, hey, listen, I appreciate you all. Um, I think the strong will survive. Those that really want to motorcycle and those that love the culture will gravitate to what's real. They will watch Dibber. They will watch each and every one of your shows. They will take from what they need to take. And people like him will come and go. You feel what I'm saying? But again, like my, like my man said, it, like, like what you call him sitting down in the corner? Listen, bro, if, if, if for me, I'm not going to fight for nobody like my man Pac, Pac said. If, if his club allowed him to walk on their backs to walk to the you know to, to walk to the mountaintop then who am i to push him off <laughs> you feel what i'm saying who am i to push him off so that's just how i feel about it well and the thing is that when you have people let's say you get rewarded it, it starts becoming expensive doing these youtube videos and with the equipment and the more followers you get uh like he, he has probably editing people he has you can tell he has a lot of people working for him and it's not cheap i know that much mm. uh but the things that you notice a difference, people that are in it for money will not share. Like right now, we're all in here on BD's channel. I don't care about these views for me or my no, no. numbers. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I go to Hollywood's channel, Hollywood. He promotes a hell out of me and all these new motor bloggers because we help each other out. It's not a competition of me. I can care less about anybody's view. I run my own journey. It's my. It's just like an MC, right? You, you Everybody has their own journey. It can be independent biker, MC. It's your own journey. I just keep my head straight and I do my thing. If someone wants to talk some crap, they can talk crap, but I do my thing. And whatever he's doing, I go, oh, you know, okay, I applaud him. I might not agree of what, how he did something or whatnot, but that's not my business to say. Uh, that, that's the way he wants to run his channel, just like BD runs his channel, Hollywood runs his channel. Um, so, end of the day, 
if you do it for certain reasons, at least be straightforward, right? And be say, hey, this is what I'm doing it for. Um, or if you say you run it like a business, you make sure you don't don't fluff it up for everybody like they're that stupid. And uh, I'm surprised that, that some people are, do buy stuff, but these are grown men and women, and uh, they're not stupid either. It's not like they're born yesterday. But he caters to a certain crowd, and they follow him. I mean, uh, it's he, he has something that they like. Well, he's got his hustle, but when he starts coming out, out the culture, culture stuff, the, the hypocritical freaking smell right. that just comes out of it. And you got to remember, uh, this audience don't understand, we don't fire on somebody unless they fire on us. And then it just goes from there. You know, weeks ago, I said, you know what, this channel, you know, banging's getting boring to me. But start it up again. It's like, okay, I can keep on going. You know, like I said, my platform is podcast and radio, and people, well, the subscribers he's got over on YouTube, <laughs> that ain't nothing right. compared to the podcast so, and radio. So you, know, you know what this is like, fellas? This is a good analogy for you. You guys with these shows that I talk to, this is like, you guys are the temptations, and he's the village people. Yeah, the village people <laughs> have all those shows, <laughs> but it's nothing classier. It's nothing classier. Then hearing doom, 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 that changes everything. So you can have yeah. the village people. The village people are going to attract who they track because they're flashy and they got people. But nothing, you know I'm gonna, that, nothing's right? gonna, <laughs> nothing is gonna ever top the temptations. So that's how you got to look. Oh, at I it. don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Di Di Diana Ross will come pretty freaking close. I mean, oh my God, here we go. He just messed up my whole He's messed up my whole But well, you understand what I'm saying. He's wrong with it, though. <laughs> you, but do you see what I'm saying? So you no, exactly. exactly. That's going to gravitate to that. You know All that. I'm seeing now, Pack, is an Oompa Loompa in the village people dress. Now, you know I'm going to use that in this. <laughs> but you see, with us, when people call, when anyone uses that term, Holy Grail, right, to, to all of us over in the UK, literally, I am not joking, I've been sat in rooms. And people said, ah, look at this. And they get their phone out and they tune into him and the Holy Grail thing. And so the moment he says that, the, the, I'm, I kid you not, the, the room is just a roar of laughter. And it, it's not so much because obviously they're not all bikers. But the thing is, for us over here, as soon as we hear Holy Grail, it just reminds us of Monty Python. <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what did the romans ever do for us well you know they gave us wine well apart from the wine what did the romans ever do for us well they gave us roads well apart from the roads and the wine what <laughs> that that's what it that's what it comes across to as us over here as soon as we hear the I mean, holy grail we just fall right, right off but you know what by the way uh bd uh if they believe it was big bones uh saying oh yeah that was big bone uh, hey, but you know what though, Johnny? No, I like this, Big Bang. This, this is the craziest thing. This is what does it mean to you, right? What do we get from this culture? Because if we don't give nothing back, right, you're taking, right? And this right here, besides my kids, is what I'm proud of because it gave me a way to help people. And this, can you read that? Can you read that? Be the bridge. Put it right up close, Be man. the bridge. Be the bridge. This is a, an award of some kind. Yeah, yeah, quality. But you know what? A motorcycle club, a gang, a, a guys that just got together, ride bike enthusiasts got together and was able to do something and give back to our community. You know, and that's what this is to me. So if you're passing on knowledge, you're giving back, right? If you're in a club and you're doing something to make a situation better for somebody you're doing back and you get to ride your bike, look good doing it and feel good with your bros. So people have to understand that, yeah, you got stuff over there, but let's talk about there's bad news that goes on, but there's good news that goes on too, right? We're not just negative. We're not just this. We're not just that. We're a whole pot of a little bit of everything, right? We got the bad stuff happening in Florida, but right now you got some club cooking up a, uh, chickens or something to give the people who don't have nothing so i think those are the things that we could focus on and if people <laughs> want the glitz and the glamour and the flash let them have that but the real people in the mc community know what the real is you but can it's still get that important. fake or you can get that real but, but it's still I mean? important to uh you know and i tell clubs this all the time 
it's important to control your narrative and you can't sit around forever and let someone destroy your narrative call you culture that uh, this these these uh, folks are very opinionated and easily led and so when i start getting a whole bunch of emails uh you know is it true this is it true that whatever i i did a show i'm doing a show i'm not a culture vulture i yeah i make money doing this absolutely uh but it ain't nowhere near the money i put out to do it how sell <laughs> how much uh have, have we put into uh, uh, all of these? A lot of money into this. Uh, Come on, man. You, you. I'm, I'm sitting in. A, I'm, I, I spent over fifty grand in my studio alone. So you, ain't, we don't even go, go talk about that. So I mean, on some well, real know, shit. But, but, but let, let me say this. I, I'm just gonna say it like this because uh, uh, my man Pack just said that that was that that brought up some shit real good shit, temptation and the village people. Let me understand this. He is season five of Son of Anarchy. That's all it is. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Pac, Pac actually brought something up asking uh, what we're proud of, and it's sitting on my wall back there. 2019 Entertainer of the Year Award from NCOM. Their really only opinion I gave a crap about is what the NCOM or MROs think. I'm not out here to make friends with. Uh, all kinds of people that I should turn it away they think. No, that is given by a lot of the major clubs. Those are the opinions I care about. And not once have I been called the culture vulture by any of the bigger clubs. <laughs> what a lot of people don't understand is, you know, we work with a lot of clubs behind the scenes. We're just not going to tell you about it because it's really none of your business what we do off air uh whoever it was it just sent me a message here can you send it to me on facebook in messenger if you're on my friends list because it means messing around my phone to open it and it's a lot of aggravation bd you got it right there in your hand you 2020 this right here uh was one of the uh most incredible things i got especially since i'm like the first black man to get it and uh, this meant a lot because the clubs that, that uh, gave it um, looked and recognized the work that I was doing, uh, although I wasn't, um, you know, considered at, at uh, when I first started this stuff, I can't tell you the hell that I got uh, to pioneer this. So you got one in 2019, I got one in 2020, and um, the, to me, this is, this is something, that's all I cared about. It uh, came from the people that mattered. It came from the big ones. So you know it came what? from and, that's, what? and that and that right there and that solidifies what I'm trying to say. You always gonna have somebody. You always gonna have. Uh, you always gonna have somebody trying to sell some fake. It's it's how it go. But as long as I think if everybody on the shows, on your channels, stay true to yourself, true to your core beliefs. Like you said, season five of Anarchy, it was cool, but it came and went. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we, I think that's the thing. I mean, it's good that you're calling them out. So you, you're you standing on what you believe. Hey, this is what I'm about. I dig that 100%. You got to live your truth. But then you already know what you stand on. And that's the most important thing. Season five going to come and go. And as long as you be real, 100% real and authentic, you're going to be here forever like death and taxes. Those things don't go away. You know what I wish would happen is he uh, sit down with all of us. You know, wouldn't that be a, a, a round table right there? And he's always that, talking man. about this unity stuff, you know, which I'm always going to believe because I was a 90s era guy that it's not cookies and ice cream and better men. Legends like J.R. Reed out of the Sons of Silence started up with NCOM and stuff have been trying to get uh, bikers to come together forever. And to think that you're even above a J.R. Reed or a Taco Bowman with the Holy Grail stuff, that's where it sets the ass hairs of my, you know, on fire. 
I thought that again, was uh, <laughs> again for me. For me, like I said, for me, at the end of the day, um, I, I just don't really believe it's his fault. I just believe it's the people. I mean, and that's why we get the bad rap. That's why we get the labels, gang members, and you know all of the rest of the stuff because it's the people. And that's what made me. That's one of the things I was going to say that made me do that show was because my family got a call asking, "Hey, ain't um, isn't Marcel in the gang?" Well, they just said that, you know, everybody that wear a vest, is, you know, is a gang. So that's what kind of made me do that show as well. Um, well, let's take that. Thing. You're talking about gang big cell. He starts off his show with the shock, the, the shoot, you know, shooting a gun. I, 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 yeah, I got you. And like I said, so that's what I'm saying. But, but what I'm saying is we all know that people love listening to a lie over the truth. The, 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 the lie is going to get... The lie gonna get more views. The lie will always get more views than the truth, hands down. Well, yeah. fight, 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 famous man said those words. A liar travel around the world before truth has got his pants on out of bed. That part right there. So, but for me, I don't even need to sit down with somebody that I've never seen on a motorcycle that I don't, that don't ride a motorcycle. I mean, you know, that's just me personally, um, because I, you know, I ride everywhere. I, I do my best to to show up and pull up. And like I said, when I reached out to him, my concern was simply, hey, if you're going to talk about me, then make sure, you know, that it, it, it's in a fashion where, you know, this and this and that. But leave my videos out of it because he was taking my videos, taking my, my topics. I'm talking about like the next day. And, well, you just, we, I, I heard this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, if you got a problem with my videos, either call me directly like everybody else does or just leave it alone. But, man, do you, at the end of the day, again, it's not him. It's the people that listen to him. He didn't. He, he, he bought those numbers or those are actual real numbers. I don't know where he got them from, but I'm telling you, it, it, whoever is listening to him, they love it. Just like, again, Sons of Anarchy, they believe, you know, right now, if Jax Taylor was to walk in the mall, he'd probably be a celebrity right now. Ain't no telling. But uh, <laughs> people, they just they just love it and they believe it. I mean, it just is what it is. So, my goal, and, and I think, John, I want to thank you for this, too, is because, again, for all of our followers, however they follow us, club-wise or whatever, all I'm telling you and all we're saying is, hey, just take the time and Diver used that. That was the one most powerful shit that Diver just said. Regardless of what we say, you still have to go out there and motorcycle on your own. You, you still have to do it by your – you still got to go – Walk up, shake the hands, and, and, and be the man or the woman that you're supposed to be. So no matter what we tell you, teach you, show you, and prepare you for, it's still the rest of it is still on you. So to me, that was powerful. But again, I hope everybody takes from this what it is. It's not I'm, I'm not here to jump on, bash, or do it because that's his thing. But he can't do it on my back or any of you guys' back. If he's going to do it, st- you know, stand on his own and do what he does. And the people that follow him, they follow him. That's why I always watch you, Big Cell. You always give it straight up. You'll have to give me your uh, channel link there, Big Cell, down in the down in the chat so I can come across and check you out. It's funny that I've never stumbled across your channel before. I've I've talked to you several times before, so you probably just you know you you know when you're major celebrities such as yourself, man, it, you know it's, it's hard. <laughs> it, it, no it, 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 it's hard, it's hard I, to keep I up with everybody. <laughs> I, I ain't no celebrity, man. I ain't no celebrity. That's one thing I'd never want. You know, you would you wouldn't believe the amount of times I've turned down appearing on even on television shows. They asked me to appear on a television show here in the UK with uh, what's his face. Um, Oh, crikey. He was over in America and he got his ass kicked out because he was going on about Piers Morgan. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was I was invited to go on Piers Morgan's show over wow. here in the UK and I told him that should take a long walk off a short pier. Hmm. You know, that's not what I'm about. That's that's not what I'm about. I'm here to try and educate the young. The, young. the MCs over here, they don't need no educating. It's the young people that want to get into it. You see, that that's that's my demographic trying to get put them on the right track. Yeah. So and I, I don't want none of this celebrity stuff. You know, I never have. That's why I've You're never already gone. a godfather though, man. Yeah, I'm the yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that way to check my beard, man. That's it. <laughs> no, you're, you're, absolutely. And uh, you know, and Big Cell's the one who started me. I, I, he you know, he he found me and I, I just can't even 
you know, I'm so thankful to uh, to the three of you. And and I've always been a person to, you know, first of all, to say, hey, listen, I got this video from such and such a person and uh, this is my take on it. And that was the first thing that rubbed me wrong about this guy. He just did a video a couple of days ago where he said, I did a video about a year and a half ago about passing one percenters and, and other MCs. That was exactly the name of my video. Then he followed my video almost word for word. And to me, it was a theft of intellectual property. It wasn't just that video. It was video after video after video. Uh, he damn sure did them uh, with, with better graphics and, and more stuff flying in. It was absolutely spectacular. Uh, my videos built them. So if my videos build you, why do you turn around and call me a culture vulture? If, if you're the holy grail of MC culture, then I must be the oracle because you're getting all that. From my video. <laughs> you got one of those things like up on the hill, like they had in, in yeah. Athens, you know, you have to climb up the hill, you know, <laughs> Absolutely. you have to go yeah. and talk to the oracle. <laughs> I, I, think after, I think after this video, you know, I'd like to put out there what my plans are. I actually love being on the pregame show with uh, Wild on Twos. That is one of my favorites. Plus, I got my independent show on Saturdays. The drama sucks. It makes for good entertainment and stuff. But it's basically in his court, man. You know, we know what you are. You know, we you keep talking about the streets. We got our ears to the streets. We talk to the clubs. Uh, you know, it, it, me, I'll never let let it go, man, that culture vulture stuff. But that's my interest right now is the pregame show and uh, the independent writer show, having fun on the Roku channel. Uh, it shouldn't be like this because we're uh, out in the back of the schoolyard like a bunch of broads uh, clawing at each other. But, hey, when you call out a channel, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I would like to do a – like I always tell we should. I would like for him to be on the roundtable and everybody do it in person one day eventually. That would be perfect. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, you we, know, we, he we, does we, say, you know, he does say he'll slap me, even though I'll have to get at the Oompa Loompa chair to try. But you know, he's shorter than I thought. Anyway, go ahead. I, <laughs> I think that uh, we did say we were all going to meet somewhere. We're going to have a uh, a uh, uh, what do you call it? A creator meetup? I think that was a uh, creator cool. uh, creator uh, roundup. Yeah, you're going to do that in 2022. I hope you're part of it, Cell. And uh, we'd love to get Dibber over here. I, I, hopefully in 2022, uh, the uh, travel restrictions will be up. And yeah, but you've got, to, you've got to bear in mind, I'm, I have trouble getting through passport control over here in the UK. So oh, God, yeah. knows, God knows what it'd be like once I get your end with the TSA. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I, well, it's not as bad as Australia, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've got... I'd, I'd have no problem getting into Australia, though. That's the thing. Right. Right. All yeah. I say is be real, man. If you're going to talk to people about clubs, you better be real. You better have the experience behind you because, quite frankly, you can get a lot of people hurt. Well, That's but you're also seeing, and, you know, I hate to say it, um, uh, but you're also seeing the effect of it uh, happen uh, with himself, his position with his club. Uh, I, I've talked to folks over there that have said straight out, you know, we were used uh, to, to make it. But, you know, this and he was is, asked to leave with no contact. Let's just be honest. <laughs> That's all. This is a, a very tough environment. Uh, you doing guys are brutal. Years. And uh, <laughs> you guys hey, are I, brutal. I, I didn't I didn't come out punching nobody. I, I sat here for three years and listened to it and uh, just got sick of it. Uh, you know, the last culture vulture thing. And then I made a video a year and a half ago about, no, you made my video. You read made my video and, and, uh, wild on twos has remade my videos. Uh, big cell has remade my videos. Uh, but they'll always say something like black dragon made this video. I've remade sales videos. Uh, I've talked about stuff. Dibbers talked about. And the first thing I said was, you know, Dibber, you, you give credit where credit is due. These are the basic protocols of social media, social media yeah. creator. But, and, but that's, and, the you, you, the you, you, and that's the difference. I'm sorry. You're looking for honor amongst magnets. Men carry honor. Certain people do not. 
So you're an honorable man for giving credit, but everybody's not honorable. And we can't expect, you can't expect people to have the same. I learned that. Matter of fact, it was a conversation with you on Hardcore taught me about, taught me that. I can't expect everybody to have the same code that I have. And if I do, I'm going to set myself up for a letdown all the time. That was that was, was you and Hardcore's word to me a while ago, a couple of a year ago or so. And I think that's what it is. You guys are expecting, you're thinking about this is how it is. And that is the correct way. I don't have a channel, but I feel that's what it would cost. But everybody doesn't ha doesn't have that same code. Does that make sense? Well, you just brought up that we're brutal, uh, Pac. No, because the I way you go, the I, way you talk. I don't, I don't think uh, we're brutal as in, like, Big Cell said earlier, he used the club and the club didn't do nothing to prevent that. But at the same time... Now, when you go after a channel and we do know our history, when we start putting their history out in the public and it makes them feel uncomfortable, it's like, well, wait a second. What did you think was going to happen when you had somebody representing you in the social media sphere and you're going against a biker news channel where we can dig up this stuff against you? How do you, you know, you should me? shut it down I, in a heartbeat. And when I say you're brutal... That's like I'm standing on the side watching somebody poke somebody in the eye. Like, oh, shit, where did that one? The little <laughs> jibs you come up with are just right. I'm just like, oh, shit, I that's brutal. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to be – I have to be taken off, but I want to thank Black Dragon, Hollywood, Big Cell, Dibber, and uh, Sean. It's always great to have you, man. I really enjoy having him on uh, the roundtable. But I got to get going. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hey. Go get hit some sleep. Up, hit, hit, yeah. hit, hit, hit me up on uh, Facebook uh, during the week. We'll have a face to face chat again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, sounds good. Yeah. I haven't. I mean, I, I did a big party last night. We didn't go to bed at all. I came home about 10 in the morning. And yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. So yeah. I, I enjoy and our chat. And by the way, and soon, by the so. way Pac, Pac yes. would you listen to somebody that wears a skeletor mask? <laughs> yeah. Really? Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, hey Hollywood, look at this. I gotta go because I gotta get up at one o'clock for work. But I just want to say, Hollywood, you need to get at me so we can make this happen. Because I was talking to uh I was talking to another a brother out here about what you invited me to, and I forgot what it was. And I was like, Yeah, I'm going. But well, you gotta Yeah, it's the Freedom me. Rally. Okay, cool. And then Dragon to everybody that went to uh Rider Republic and the site was down. That is not Dragon's fault. That is my fault. Well, actually, it was a hacker's fault. We're selling gear, and every now and then, somebody tried to attack it, and they attacked it the day that Dragon said, hey, go to this site. So the site is up now. Please go and check it out. If you want something cool, if not, it's intellectual. Don't steal it, because I drew it up and got it copywritten. Put it on my website. <laughs> put it on my website, Pox, and put a link. And I'll put a link to where you would buy it at. These shirts right here, my Rider Republic, right here, Rider and, Republic, and and everything. And as you know, we are a uh, Monster Club. We are a nonprofit, so we actually our board started a business, and we donate everything we do back to the club, so we can do the big events in the community for the. You kids. know what you need to do is make an MP3, and I'll put it up on the radio station. An MP3. Yeah, I'll, commercial. I'll, I'll, commercial. I'll, I'll, I'll make it for you. Okay. Yeah, you make it, dude, I got 24-7, man, on the radio, man. It just keep on playing for you. Hope that If it helps a good cause, I throw it on for free. Don't worry about it. I don't charge. Oh, man, I ain't yeah, a culture. Yeah. But no, I want to <laughs> say thank you. I want to say thank you guys for having me. It's always an honor to be here. And, when I, and don't take it wrong when I say you're brutal. It's just like me standing on the sideline watching some sluggers yeah. go at it. <laughs> but I, I would I would just like to leave with one final thought. Honorable men is honorable men. And if you're honorable, it's built into your core. A lot of motorcycle, there's a lot of people in motorcycle club who are honorable men. That's why we call each other brothers. But yet and still, there's still going to be a maggot over there that infiltrates us. That sooner or later, we're going to know he's he doesn't hold the same code and honor that we do. And we just we get rid of it, right? Because the people that were supposed to be together and have that honor, they're gonna stick together. So let's stop expecting people to be honorable, and and because that's not how life is. You know it, I know it, the world knows it. And because we know that, season five will be gone next week. I promise you. <laughs> if not, 
And if it's not gone next week, what matters is the information that you're putting out to the public, authentic, truthful, 100 percent uh, delved in history. And that's what we're here for, to learn. Right. Each one, teach one. Thank you, guys. Hey, Dibra, it's cool to meet Send you. Send me that MP3 pack. Hey, I'm going to have Dragon do it because I don't know how to do none of that. All he right, can man. walk me through it. Somebody can walk me through it. But thank yeah, you, man, guys. Come you guys. Have a good yeah. night. Good night, man. Go, oh. go, Google is your best friend pack. Just put in, how do I create an MP3? <laughs> no, I got her upstairs. I got her upstairs for that. She helped me to it. You guys have a good night, man. Uh, Shaggy, has, uh, Shaggy has a statement, BD. Uh, okay. Shaggy mm. said, uh, quit being so polite about this subject. This dude and many others like him are using Google and YouTube to profit from what I and many others live. Where do you say that at? I'm reading it's it in the comments. It's, it's, right it's, in, it's in the comments. <laughs> I got it right there. Uh, quit being so polite about the subject. The dude and many others like him are using Google and YouTube to profit from what I and many others live. And, uh, you know, that that's that's, you know, the preface of the video. Uh, it's really easy to point fingers and call people uh, what you're doing. Um, I, I make no bones about it. My channel absolutely does make money. But um, my. <laughs> I, uh, my channel hasn't made anything close to what I've spent. Um, and, but I hope that it does. I mean, I, I really hope that it does. Um, I enjoy doing this. This is something I like to do, but I'm not going to be on here name dropping. Don't watch other channels because they don't have the same one percenters on that I have on. And hmm. you just look at my guest and see that I'm the real thing. And those guys are not, no, I would never, this no, is if you're going to be teaching MC protocol, I, ex I I it's my expectation that you would be teaching the right thing, and you'd be saying instead we don't name drop because name dropping will get you killed out there in the street. Um, get you in big trouble over here. I can tell you that. So you know uh, you make it on your own moxie. You don't make it by hey. You can just look and see who's on our, you know, do you, do you think that we're actually in this world for 40, 50 years and, and we don't know some people? Uh, so stop telling people that it's, it's not the truth. Um, those things have gotten on, on my nerves over the time. Then you make all these videos about um, you, you're not a one percenter. Don't blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden when you're not in your club anymore, you're still making the same videos instead of coming in saying, Hey, this is what's going on, and uh, hey, you might you might be kicked out of your club, or you might quit your club, or you might leave your club. Uh, and so, when that happens, this is what you experience. This is what I expect from a content creator. I, mm -hmm. I expect you to to be honest about what's going on. Now, don't wait till the club gets in trouble. The club gets in trouble, and then run out and say, "Oh, I haven't been with them a long time." What they do when I'm 2,000 miles away, has nothing to do with me. That's the, 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 There's no I in MC. But what somebody does 2,000 miles away in my club absolutely has something to do with me. And what I do has something to do with them. That's MC protocol. We're brothers across the, the land. If, I, if you put my colors on over there, you represent me every damn time you're in them. And if you're well-known enough, you represent me any time you're not in them because you're known to be in my club. And anything you do affects us all. So I expect you to act that way. I, I would never expect you to say, as a creator, hey, what somebody does 2,000 miles away doesn't mean anything. Hey, I'm not responsible for that. That's not him seeing. That's me seeing. That's me. And I'm against the me. And see, that's why I encourage every, and I'm not taking away from you, BD. Uh, I encourage everybody to go to Big Cell. Because I think we think along the same lines. You know, he's straight up. He don't care. He gets the threats like we do every day. But he puts on the show that he knows how. He don't have to. He don't hide. He, he, he says it like it is. And so does Dibs. And, you know, BD, I'm happy as hell that you're coming out like this now. <laughs> I am because you're a good guy and everybody attacks you and you want to sit back. And it's like, well, wait a second, we're entertainment here, so all bets are on now. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I I I got to give you a hand there, BD. I really do. Well, I, I try to be reserved and uh, you know held it held it in for a long time. Never said a word. Well, about I'll it. I'll tell you what I posted on my Facebook earlier about this tonight show. Right, this is what I posted about tonight show. <laughs> Gotta this love is, my dibs, man. <laughs> uh, this is this is this is what I put on my Facebook. Let me just get it here. See, you're like me, man. We're used to using says, Facebook all day. Uh, it says it says, all being well, I should be participating on a round table show tonight at one AM UK time on Black Dragon's channel. So you gotta give the credit there, you see. Uh, got a feeling this one's going to get very messy tonight, as tonight's subject is about culture vultures, and everyone that fo has followed me for any length of time knows my feeling about culture vultures that use their club position, connections, etc., for monetary gain. Like I said, this could get messy. <laughs> <laughs> I just say shit how I see it. And, and I'll be honest with you, no doubt he'll probably make a retort to what I've said. I really couldn't give a monkey's. John knows I don't do these backwards and forwards bullshit. I just say what I have to say. He'll say what he has to say. That's it. That's as far as it goes with me. But I said what I wanted to say. You know, I've watched this stuff going on for far too long. Amen. And, uh, you know, I've been vocal with you, John. You know I have, mate. So why shouldn't I be vocal there as well? You know, oh, okay. yeah. You, you make great points, uh, Deb. Uh, using the club to advance your money at least yeah. give them a cut <laughs> yeah yeah at least give the cut i mean you crikey if you're going to make money off the club's back you firstly you talk to your club i can tell you this much for sure i do not know of any clubs over here where i am yeah that would give you the go ahead to go on a show like what i do wearing your colors no mention mentioning the club's name or anything like that you know there are there, there are bylaws with some of the mcs over here they don't even allow their clubs brothers to put anything on social media it's a very very like i said it i said it time and time again we got a very strict club scene over here in the way that we do things well gentlemen and that's it's why time that's, for me to uh say good night man john appreciate you i sent you i sent you a link Deborah. i sent it uh in the comments i sent you a link and i tagged you in it i went oh, to your right, page okay. I, I i commented on your last post so you oh, should go to, yeah so Excellent. yeah so i got you there Hollywood, love you, brother. Dragon, I love you, brother. You guys keep doing what you're doing, and uh, so let me know about the let me know about the meetup, man. I'll pull up, man. So you got to tell them about uh, your Tampa Bay thing, bro. You can't be on here and not tell them about that. Uh, well, Tampa. So Tampa, I'm doing what they call United Bike. Uh, the city of Tampa is giving me the opportunity, me and my man Top, to put on an event. We are not competing with any of the other events in that in that category. But we just want to put on an event, man, where as a biker, you are appreciated. Your motorcycle is appreciated. Your economic, you know, your dollars is appreciated, man. And, and um, right now, man, it's just it's growing so big and so fast. We've already sold out of 10 hotels, over 27 RV rentals, the whole nine yards. So we got 30, 36 acres, I believe we have, that they gave us that's going to be well, it's well manicured. Um, <laughs> we got um, entertainment Friday we will be doing. Taking it back to the old school motorcycle ways with the adult only um, thing Friday daytime. Friday night we got entertainment. Saturday night we got Rick Ross performing live. So um, as it develops, I'll definitely keep you guys in mind because um, I'll try to put together something where each one of you guys can come and, you yeah, know, mystical. podcast, broadcast. Yeah, mystical. yeah, mystical Friday night. So I'll try to put together something where you guys can come down and uh, as, as a media, you know, take care of you guys on that. So if I can. Um, right, right now, like I said, we we uh we we've already we had a two hundred fifty thousand dollar budget already. So, but um the city with everything that's happening now, they're they're probably going to give me some more money, and with that, I'll try to incorporate you guys. But stay tuned, Deborah. I appreciate you. I love you, brother. I watch you more than what you know. Everybody, you One guys do your thing, man. What One you got? Uh, your towing service, fast Harley's only. Uh, hey, we, we, towing, and trans, towing and transportation. Only difference I tell people with transportation, only difference with me is I go door to door. So if you hire me, you know, when, when people call me about transporting bikes from state to state, my prices are totally higher and different than a regular transporter. Because when I pick your bike up, I'm coming straight to you. Uh, well, I'm trying to get to you within a day to two days. So 
that's the only difference. But FHO Towing, uh, um, you need to get a commercial together and put that on my show, my uh, station. I have one too. Um, I just got to figure out how to. Matter of fact, I'll try to. I'll try to. Uh, if I can, um, uh, Google it to you through Google Drive. Can you do it like that and pull it off that way? Yeah, I should be okay. able to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'll get it to you. I, um, you know what? I'll get Why don't you send me a video commercial? I'll put it on the, the videos I do. Yeah. Because I'm going That's what I got. Okay, I got one for you. I'll send it over. I'll get it to you, David. Fast I mean, I'll get it to you. I'll get you out of FHO Towing here in the Atlanta area. He's got a specialized truck uh, that is just impeccable. The thing costs so much money. You get in it, the seats just drip leather all over you. You just, <laughs> it, the, the uh, thing uh, is sexy. I got a bike that needs transporting from North London to Israel soon. So listen, listen, listen. <laughs> uh, we, we haven't we haven't bulletproofed it and tank proofed it yet, but we 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 working on it. The other <laughs> but you guys enjoy your night, man. Good night, man. Yeah. Take care. Hey, uh, Black Dragon. Black Dragon. Mike has something here. Uh, he is live now and asked if he would come to the round table. His old lady answers me with saying, you guys are popping for attention and they ain't about that. Only positivity. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Meaning he uh, don't want to come on with the uh, the big boys. <laughs> uh, I ain't no big boy. I just say shit like I say it. I need to come on. you. I need to get a passport, man. Come see you, Debs, yeah. man. Come yeah, I yeah, always yeah, yeah, yeah. have a ball. You'll have a ball over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> but all you guys are welcome with, uh, if you guys got anything you want to put on the Roku channel, you guys are welcome to put yeah, it on there. Tell us about the Roku channel. You haven't said anything about it. Tell us about the Roku it channel. It comes uh, live. Uh, it's through the review process right now. It should be coming live Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And it's a whole different uh, ball game with that one compared to YouTube. There's no censorship on there. We're going to have our radio shows on there. We might have uh, a reality show coming to it. And we're letting every creator out there, if they want to put something on there, go ahead to get some, uh, you know, recognition, some uh, advertising, whatever you want to do. It's just helping out everybody. That's really cool, man. Well, listen, uh, I really appreciate having you guys on tonight. Uh, uh, Dibber, Hollywood, Big Cell, Pac, uh, Wild on Twos. Um, man, it's just really great to have all you guys on, um, as always. Uh, I want to do whatever I can to build your shows. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I wish everybody could just get along. But, hey, this is a world where uh, folks do get along and folks don't get along. And it's okay. It's uh, uh, perfectly Lisa, fine. Lisa Lee here. Just want to answer a question about the stuff going on in Australia. It's still going through the process, Lisa. Still going through the process. It's a process that has to go through. It's not instantly made law like that. It has to go through the process to become law. And Deborah has a live tomorrow, so you guys know. Yeah. You know, I, I want to well, say probably, about yeah. this all we are is about positivity mess. I wouldn't be talking if all you are was about positivity. There's many things that have been said about my show that ain't been positive at all coming from over there. This is the first <laughs> time I, I've ever really spoken out. So miss me I with the... Pff, I don't give a it. stuff what people think about me. I really I'm don't. <laughs> I well, really you know, like the, Oompa, the Oompa Loompa Village people meme will be coming out soon, so be uh, prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a row. I'll tell you what, I really don't give a flying F about it, that any of it. I really don't. I've got two really good moderators that take care of the comments and stuff on my channel behind the scenes. They come across, start talking BS. I probably won't even see it. Simple as that. <laughs> no, I'm talking about on my behalf. It's going to be out there, guys. The village people. Right, well, yeah. <laughs> the village people, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Diana Ross man myself, or as you guys saw, you know, I like, I, I, I follow the king of reggae, man, Bob Marley. So, rock yeah. and roll, man, Bob. <laughs> well, listen, well, I got a uh, members only uh, chit chat going on in Discord. You guys can come if you want, but uh, I'm gonna be going over there, BD. I got to get over there. I'm about late. All right, I man. Ain't got none of that stuff. Hey, Dib, thanks yeah. a lot. Appreciate you, man. Uh, that's all right. So, sorry I unleashed, but there we go. You know, I did say that no, I never hold my tongue on your show, man. I do it. 
I tell everybody, be who you are. When you come on this show, be who you are. Just try to keep the cursing to a minimum. I got, yeah, I've got a good subject for next time round, though, for you. I'll send it to you, Messenger, unless James has already suggested it to you. Oh, we'll see. No, he hadn't told me anything about next week. Uh, so, so, something I think I could really do with touching on and that. So I, tell, I might as well say it in here. Now you can get a bit of feedback from your uh, people in your stream, like whether they would like it. And that's the dangers of pillow talk. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's always a good one. That's anyway. always a good one. Hey, man, look forward to seeing you hopefully next week. I'd love to have you on every time, anytime you want to come on. So if, if you're on next week, absolutely outstanding. Love you, Dibs. Appreciate you. You stay, you stay safe there, John. Stay and I'll uh, catch you another day, another way, yeah? Yes, sir. And everybody else in the uh, stream that said hello to me this evening and all the rest of it, big hello to you. Big thank you for your comments. Big thank you for your support. Love and respect always. Thank you very much, John. Laters, man. Later. All right, so we have uh, Black Dragon Biker TV. Uh, we'll be making videos all week next week. Could probably try to make two to three videos a week. Uh, you've got uh, us on the uh, podcast, Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, be back to motorcycle talk and this, that, and the other. Uh, um, you know, next week uh, and uh, having uh, fun talking about our lifestyle. We got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the channel, Black Dragon Biker TV on YouTube, Black Dragon Biker TV on Instagram, on Instagram TV, Black Dragon Biker on Facebook. Uh, I'm finally off of my 30-day suspension. I still have another 25 days or so to go until they allow me to um, uh, 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 go live over there which is why you haven't seen me go live. And I'm going to try not to make them mad. I, you know, I'm trying not to curse, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but they, they keep taking me off the air over there. So, hey, we're doing the best we can. We do have a Discord channel too, so please go down to the description to find our Discord. My Instagram is jbunchii, stands for John Bunch the second. jbunchii is my Instagram. Go over to my Instagram. I mean, not Instagram, but Twitter. J Bunch II is my Twitter. Uh, stands for John Bunch II. That's my Twitter. Go over there and check us out uh, and uh, subscribe to our Twitter. We like that. Subscribe to our Instagram. We're trying to get to 10,000 uh, folks over there on Instagram. And uh, we're having a fun time doing what we're doing. My newest books are out. Uh, Prospects, uh, President's Bible, uh, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership, uh, already has been a number one bestseller three or four times now in the in the past uh, month since I put it out uh, over there uh, in its category, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, we have the uh, Prospects Bible, the Sergeant at Arms Bible, the Public Relations Officers Bible, the President's Bible, Chronicle One, and we also have Prospects Bible for Women's Motorcycle Club. So we are trying to get uh, all of the uh, Bibles written. We still have the Road Captain's Bible and uh, stuff like that to go. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for your support. I want to thank uh, the Hood Riders who came over last night uh, to the Dragon's Lair. We're having bike night here at the Dragon's Lair on Friday nights here in uh, uh, the Atlanta area, greater Atlanta area. So if you're going to be in Atlanta Give me a shout at 404-692-0336, 404-692-0336, and uh, let me know you're in town. That's the number now scrolling, 404-692-0336, and let me know you're going to be in town, and we would love to have you uh, um, on uh, – on on uh, in to visit us here at the dragon's lair if you've bought one of my books and you bring it i will be more than happy to sign it for you autograph it take a picture with you that sort of thing uh and come over here and sit down and kick your feet up and uh you know have a brew with uh or or a, a nice tea or a sweet tea or an unsweetened tea and uh just sit down and kind of hang out with us down here at the dragon's lair get to know brave heart the Magnificent and uh, Brutus uh, Maximus, the uh, uh, Brutus Maximus, Bar Brutus Bartholomew Maximus, uh, Lucifer Bunch, and uh, Braveheart uh, the Magnificent. These are my dogs. Uh, come hang out with us, and we'll have a lot of fun with you. 
Black Dragon Biker TV now is almost, I guess we're about five years old. So absolutely, man, we appreciate the support from you all uh, and for following us for so many years. So, man, that is just really crazy. And tonight was a special night for me because I had all of the people that got me started in this uh, business, as it were. I had all of those people on uh, tonight. And for me, there you know, just could be no no greater blessing than that. You had uh, Big Cell from FHO ATLGA, uh, Fast Harleys Only. He's the guy that got me started in all this. He he called me on the phone. He told me I he thought I had a good voice and a good uh, passion to do this. And and uh, he held my hand as I got started. Then Dibber in the Wind comes along, and um, man, you know, makes calls to me, talks to me late at night uh telling me everything i needed to know to move forward then hollywood comes uh, and helps uplift and builds me and so don't think that i wouldn't do that for anybody for these things that folks have done for me to have them on my show these people that i looked up to but wild on two comes and people like him uh uh i've so many young creators new creators have come and i have been more than happy to give of myself of anything I can give to uh, help them along. So don't think I wouldn't do that. I would do that for anybody. I don't, I don't care to fight with or argue with or, or be uh, uh, against anyone. Um, That's just not typically my get down. I'm an easygoing fun loving kind of guy. That's for me, what motorcycling has always been, but uh, we're not, we're not taking no bullying. We're not taking no pushing around. We're not taking no disrespect. We're not taking no threats. We just ain't doing that. We're grown people, uh, veterans of the United States military. We're not, that's not how we play in that game over here. Just don't like it. Anyway, um, that's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comments section below. I'm Black Dragon. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in. Uh, see you next Sunday. And uh, although it hasn't happened yet, uh, we are still working hard to get skinny because uh, the more fit you are, the better chance you're going to have to live a long and prosperous life without so many debilitating sicknesses and illnesses. And especially with the, the pandemic and the new pandemics coming and the pandemics and whatever you want to call them, uh, the healthier you are, the better off you'll be. I'm Black Dragon. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, stand by for this commercial. Let's see if it works. Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. Get yours today on Amazon, Kindle, or order it at your local bookstore. Order your autographed copy from BlackDragonsGear.com. Be the best motorcycle club president you can be. Get the book.